Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the very important topic called Basic Industrial Communication Protocols. Why communication protocol is very important in any of the system? Let's see now. An industrial communication protocol and its network is a, a backbone of any automation system architecture because it is providing the powerful means of data exchange, data controllability and flexibility to the connected variable systems or any devices. A communication protocol is a set of formal rules describing how to transmit or exchange the data, especially across the network. A standard communication protocol is one of the uh, codified as a standard. And now you will see one by one standard protocols. The first one is Modbus, Profibus, and Profinet, DeviceNet, EtherCAT, ASI Interface, Art Communication Module, Ethernet IP, Foundations, Profibus, Can Open, Can, OPC, Packnet, DNP and MQTT. These all are very special pro communication protocol used in OT, OT networks. Now we will move to the earlier stage. If we go for earlier days, industrial communication systems has become very complex and large with more number of automation devices on control floor. But today the trend towards is changed because all the communication protocols it's become open uh, system that is called open system interconnections OSI standards that permits to interconnect the communication in any of the pair in automation device with very easily with any manufacturer. If you see now in this example you can see all the the old one it's very complicated and it is very difficult to communicate with one by one and also it's required the same manufacturer uh, need to be give is uh, protocol types uh, example you cannot connect with one manufacturer to another without any interface device but now in the latest technologies all the protocol it's become open so you can communicate with any of the device from any of the manufacturer or any protocols it is easily transfer from one protocol to another protocol it's very easily and you can communicate together and you can get the real-time data if you see in the industry 4 as advancement in real uh, digital technology the field bus communication see the field bus communication is ruling the automation field in multiple communicate multiple drop of communications and the result it's got very effectiveness with cost and also saving the cables communications everything if you see the example of the second one all the system is connected and it is real time and you can get uh, even with different different protocols even it may be if it is modbus or profibus or can open or uh, mqtt everything is connected in the real time that is the difference between the old and new systems. If you go for industrial communication protocols, you have wired and wireless. If you see the wired, earlier we seen uh, most of the popular. Apart from that, we have many other communication systems. If you see here, we have say, uh, interbus, foundations, power link, and also key link control net etc if you go for wireless you have wireless art and zigbee lora wi-fi bluetooth etc this is for wireless communication because nowadays for iiot communications it is required to make with wireless communications no? so you now most of the devices now it is communicated through lora technologies and bluetooth wi-fi like etc and if you go for our standard protocols, you can see here Modbus, it's mainly uh, before designed for manufacturing electrical utilities. 
if you go for profibus it is designed for process industries if you go for device nut it is mainly designed for manufacturing industries if you go for dnp3 especially they utilized for electric utilities for SCADA systems if you go for backnet where we, uh, we used for hvac controls building automations etc if you go for control net it is going for uh, we used for manufacturing facilities if you go for arc net used for office automations gaming etc if you go for ethernet ip it is normal ethernet ip also used for office automation and internet purpose but now all the communications it's become very easy to communicate what each one together okay now we will go for the important topic it's modbus modbus is one of the important protocol used in the industrial network communications modbus modbus is a client server data communication protocol in the application layer it was originally published by modicon in 1979 now it's become a schneider electric and you know already that modbus communication is very popular in everywhere and is this the communication protocol exchange the data between the buses and networks and if you go for modbus it is uh, a open protocol and it is developed mainly developed for industrial application purpose and if you see it is very easy to deploy and maintain the standards in the modbus communication if you go for modbus protocol you have serial ethernet and also you can use for uh, ip shoots also okay modbus supports the communication with multiple devices if you see here if uh, the computer the SCADA system is connected with plc through modbus tcp and if you see here one of the plc is connected with rs232 and rs485 and other example if you see here this plc second plc is connected with rs422 and ethernet tcp ip so all the rs232 485 rs422 and ethernet this all serial and ethernet communication is connected with it is automatically converted through modbus tcp and it is connected with the scada systems so the uh, communication between these rs232 or 485 or rs422 or ethernet it will be automatically interchanged inside the program applications so if you go here another one the difference between the tcp and modbus are to you if you see here the transmission speed for modbus tcp 100 gb but now up to 100 mbps up to 1 gbps if you go for modbus rtu it is up to 150000 k bit per second if you go for master slave uh, or master client you have multiple clients can be connected in the modbus tcp but in the modbus rtu you can connect only one master but you can connect many slaves up to 247, 128 or 64 based on the device, Modbus device uh, manufacturer. If you go for communication mode, here we can use in the Modbus TCP, you can use multiple masters, but here you can use only one master in the Modbus RTU, master because it will work like a Modbus slave concept. If you go for distance, uh, from the modbus tcp it will be 100 meter because the usually ethernet communication from one place to another place the maximum range is 100 meter but you can use the extender for that no problem and you can use more than 100 meter you need to be use extender but if you use for modbus rtu you, you can use up to 1200 meters for rs485 and rs422 and media for Modbus TCP it is wired or wireless. For Modbus RTU, sure it is wired. And the topology you are using for Modbus is star, tree, dicey chain, etc. And if you go for Modbus RTU, it is dicey chain. 
and for addressing you can use for device IP address and if you go for Modbus RTU it is slave addressing and number of slaves in Modbus TCP it is more slaves than RTU and you can tell that for Modbus RTU as less slaves compared to the Modbus TCP and if you see for field device reporting yes for Modbus TCP we can make a field device reporting but for Modbus RTU you cannot make the field device reporting and used medium is uh, Ethernet in the Modbus TCP and for Modbus RTU you can use RS232, RS485 and RS422 and if you see the communication here Modbus communication it is a Modbus request response from the one master and it is connected with many slaves okay in the Modbus master slave concepts you see in the first example the slave 1, 2, 3 up to 4 it is connected and the Modbus is request it is sending the request and the slave devices it is response and it is giving the data again written back to the Modbus master but if it is sends any additional data it will not take into the Mod, Modbus master device because what are the requests it is going it is it will it will write you back so you can see in the second example see the CRC it will send to the slave devices and it will get the functions data and everything if there is any error it will it will not retrieve to the system and the next one it's very important one is Profibus or Profinet protocol. Profibus is the standard protocol for in the foundation uh, field bus communication in automation technology and it was first promoted in 1989 then it was they used uh, the Siemens used the system Profibus system. The Profibus and Profinet are di very different protocol used with different cables and connectors because the Profibus is used as uh, this is the old technology they use with uh, serial but if we go for Profinet it is the TCP connection so you can see the complete difference between these two in the next slides see here the Profibus we can tell that process field bus Okay, and it is a tried and true industrial communication protocol. A Profibus connection port, it is uh, very familiar for everyone because it's having the serial connector with DB9 pin connector and the, it is underlying protocol and it is very different. Profibus is a digital network responsible for providing the communication between the sensors, control systems and the controllers. Here there are two different types, Profibus DP and Profibus PA. Profibus DP is decentralized peripherals used to operate the sensors and actuators via the controller in the production or uh, automation applications. If you go for Profibus PA and uh, this one is used to monitor the equipments via the process control systems in process applications. Okay, this is the difference between PA and DP. If you go for Profinet, Profinet is similar to the uh, TCP IP and this uh, same Siemens is providing the Profinet and now it is very popular in uh, everywhere. Profinet is a mechanism to exchange the data between the controllers and devices. Controllers should be PLCs, DCS, PACs and other systems. Profinet is an open industrial Ethernet standard based on the standard Ethernet communication media. Profibus is fully compatible with all the leverages in the future and it's having the complete future for Ethernet also. So there are differences of Ethernet. It's not capable for real-time performance in industrial applications. But for Profinet, it is having the real-time data and we can use any of the CAT, like example CAT5 cable, CAT5E6, 
seven cables it can be used for profinet networks you can see it is connected everything in one switch and you can connect multiple all the devices in the switch and you can take directly like a tcp ip okay now we will move to the next uh, section see here if you see the in the example here the operator see it is everything is ma uh, made by automated through the by wired and wireless communication if you see some of them it is connected the robotics is connected with wireless and the almost all the system is connected with wireless to the SCADA systems and the operator is monitoring the complete system through wireless and now in the market share and popularity of ethernet protocols if you see here the mostly it's dominated by ethernet ip is 26 percentage and the second is profinet is 23 percentage and the third one is uh, modbus tcp 17 percentage and power link is 11 percentage and others is 16 percentage so this is the total worldwide market share by protocols as per imc research and if you go for the other research they told that uh, ethernet ip have 24 percentage and uh, sorry 28 percentage profinet have 24 percentage and modbus tcp have 9 percentage and ethercat have 15 percentage and now we will move to the another session called the major major brands in the plc manufacturers such as siemens rockwell schneider G, Mitsubishi, Omron, Pago, Delta, ABB, etc. So this is the major brands available in the market currently. And if you need more details, you can check my previous videos. I already make for PLC basics. You can find a lot of information for basics of PLCs. And if you need more uh, videos about the automation field the complete uh, courses trainings and tutorials you can uh, follow, follow my own videos and thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts or you need more topics in instrumentation control systems smart solutions iiot or digital transformation please comment i will prepare the video and uh, and i will i will make as soon as possible if you like this video please press the like button and share to your friends and subscribe this channel thank you